Hello and welcome. This is part 2 of making an appealing footer for your company website. Let's get start where we left off. We created a footer with three main columns of mission, policies, and contact. Now we would like to add icons and make it more appealing to the eye. To add icons to the footer, let's go to our browser and write font awesome. Then let's click on the icons and search for envelop. Let's click on one of the envelope icon and copy the HTML code. Now, let's go back to the Visual Studio code and under the column 3, let's create a CSS variable with the content of the copied HTML tag. I also write an email address in front of the icon CSS. Next, I search for mobile icon and I select one icon and copy the HTML and put inside the string for CSS variable and write a random phone number inside. I copy a location icon and write a random address in front of it. If I refresh the page, still we cannot see the icons because the font awesome icons are not imported. Let us hover over to the browser and search for font awesome men CSS download. If we click on the first link, we should be able to download the men CSS for the font awesome. For this demo app, I'd like to use the direct link from Amazon CloudFront so I import it using an import URL. Let's also inject the icons using stwrite. Unsafe allow HTML. Now if we refresh the page, we should be able to see the icons. Similar to previous icons, let's put the icons related to social media like Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn using ST Markdown. For doing that, let's create a link with the color of your choice and no text decoration. You can specify the link in which the icon refers. Finally, I paste the icon HTML code inside the string. When I refresh the page, I should be able to see the Instagram icon. I repeat the process for YouTube and LinkedIn as well as Twitter and put inside the ST Markdown. To give a slight spacing between the icons, let me copy the class value of each icon and put it in the styles.css file and define a left margin of 20 pixels for them. I'm doing this for all the icons. When I refresh the page, I can see the icons to be separated. To make the web application more realistic, let's create a table with random values in Stringlet. I paste a prepared code for random generation of the table in Stringlet. The content of this part of the code is not relevant for this video, so I don't go into its details. Let's import the necessary libraries like Pandas and NumPy. When refreshing the page, I can see the created table. To adjust better the footer elements, let's make the screen slightly wider through the ST set page config, and I set the layout to wide.
Now, we can see that the elements in the footer are well aligned. If I slightly make the browser smaller, which is equivalent to the size of smaller screens, the footer elements stay pretty aligned and nice. Hope you have enjoyed this video and it's useful for your application. Thank you very much for your attention. See you next time.